Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to use Fetch API to fetch data from a local file. And the code for this video will be in the description box below. And on the screen, I have a web page waiting for some dynamically generated data, but I haven't set up my fetch request yet. So why would anybody do something like this? Sometimes your website isn't working with the back end. And you want an easy and manageable way to store some data in a file that gets displayed on the page for whatever reason. And it's really easy to store this data in the JSON file. Let's head on over to VS Code. And I have this data.json file open. And in here is a list of addresses that I found randomly generated on the internet. And just like interacting with a server-side API, I'm going to use fetch to retrieve this data. I'm going to do a quick tour on the remainder of this project. Now, over here on the index.html page, I have this div ID address dash list. That's going to be my insertion point. As I loop through the data from my fetch request, I'm going to append the data inside of this div. And this is all happening through my JavaScript file. So over here in this file, I have a few items already set up. First, I have a query selector for that insertion point that I've mentioned earlier. Next, I have a function that's going to dynamically generate elements using the data from that JSON file. Scrolling down to the bottom, I'm going to write out the fetch requests. And how does this work with a local file? We just use the relative URL of that file. So starting with fetch, passing through data for the folder, then forward slash data.json, then response, arrow function, response.json, then data, arrow function, and I'm going to use the generate address function as a callback passing through that data. And that's everything that needs to be done. So going back to the web page, we can see the data from the JSON file now on the web page. If you want to see future content, please subscribe and follow. Thanks for watching.